Hey guys, welcome to QA Automated. Today we are going to learn about Appium plus Android Studio plus Test NG setup. So in my previous video, I have uh, given step by step instruction of Appium installation with Android Studio. And this video we will uh, use Test NG instead of JUnit. JUnit was uh, provided by default in the project. So let's get started and check out how to do it. So open your Android Studio project now. In this uh, project, we have seen we have to uh, check for builder gradle. So open your builder gradle file, which is in the app section. So once you open this file, you will find all the dependencies which we added while uh, installing or setting up the appium. So here you can see the test compiles JUnit 4.12 is already added in this. So by default, it got added. We have to comment this as we are going to use test engine. After commenting this, we, are, we need to add code for uh, adding test ng jars. So for that, I have given link in the video, a description box. So go to that link. So here in this block, uh, this is my blog post where you will find the code which you need to add. So copy this code from here. Go to Android Studio and check here in dependencies section you uh, comment uh, this one we have commented already and now we are going to add this one once we add this here we will get sync now option because we have changed the build.gradle file we'll get the sync now option so click on the sync now option and once you see build is successful that means your setup is completed So basically uh, test ng is similar to JUnit testing framework and you can learn about uh, uh, JUnit testing framework in the in my blog and the link is given in the description box. Soon I will be adding for the test ng framework as well. So it is taking a while. You can see here that the sync is in progress. Uh, you want to see the log then you can click on the gradle console and here we are waiting for the log okay if the log started appearing okay cool it's successful so now you are done with the uh, setup so you can start writing your test cases so in the next tutorial we'll see how to write the first test case in android studio and how to run it so please give your feedback and like the video if it's useful and subscribe my channel for latest updates thank you